Tomorrow is HTC's big announcement and we'll be all over it. Ubuntu goes to the tablet space as of tomorrow apparently, and the Galaxy Note 8 seems closer than expected. I'm Jaime Rivera, and yeah, you're right, I need to learn a new language. This is Pocket Now Daily. Now one thing that's got me really bored is all these rumors and teasers of a Galaxy Note 8 without a device. The rumors have Sammy working on releasing this device around mid or late March, and apparently the device will retail for 480 bucks at its entry level, which is kind of pricey for a tablet at this price range or at this size at least, but we'll see. Now there is something very special about March, so let's talk about it in the next segment. Yes, the Galaxy S3 is what's special about March. Remember, recent rumors have the company launching the device on March 22nd. New other rumors have the device being launched on March 15th, but apparently new very trusted sources say that the device will be announced on March 14th or probably be announced even earlier. But think about this, Galaxy Note 8, Galaxy S4, everything being launched in March, could it be that these two devices are part of Project J? And yes, the Galaxy S4 could probably get the S Pen functionality. Now speaking of more Android, now that the LG Optimus G Pro is pretty much official, aka Samsung Galaxy Note 2 ripoff, well there's a new processor in town, the Snapdragon 600, which apparently is 25% better, meaning more efficient and faster than the S4 Pro that was on the Optimus G, but stay tuned for that. Once the device reaches the Pocket Now Labs, we'll test the hell out of it, and you'll know if it is really as good as on paper. Now let's talk about Nokia. MWC 2013 will be their show floor, but we've got some good and some bad rumors. Apparently there will be four devices being launched, but wait a second. We know that the Lumia 1000 was being part of those rumors, and we'd love to see how that device will be better than the Lumia 920, but sadly on the bad side of the rumors, we've got apparently that the Nokia tablet will not be launched. We heard earlier that apparently the device wasn't ready, but we knew that there were three phones that were rumored, and apparently the fourth device would be the tablet, so MWC 2013, our guys will be there and they'll give you the news. Stay tuned. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, repeat after me, Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu, uh, you're nuts. But anyways, aside from HTC's big announcement tomorrow, apparently Ubuntu will bring a new tablet operating system to the market as of tomorrow to mingle with their new smartphone operating system that's not even released yet. But the problem is we still don't know what to expect of the operating system. Sadly, the news are quite scarce, but it would be interesting to see a lot of additional swiping and a lot of additional paradigms to the lock screen that Ubuntu has brought to the market. But that leads me to the question of the day. Are you holding off whatever buying choices you have right now with Windows Phone 8, Android and iOS, or BlackBerry 10, for example, and trying to get Ubuntu? In my case, I have my Galaxy Nexus right there just waiting just in case, but I don't know about you. Do you want the operating system? Leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Get your clocks. 10 a.m. Eastern will be our special episode of Pocket Now Live covering everything that's going to happen at the HTC event. Both Brandon Miniman and Michael Fisher are going to be there, so stay tuned and tune us at 10 a.m. Eastern Time.